welcome back to my channel. This is Heather Teedman and this is Jonathan Teedman. And we are with EXP Realty down here in the Columbia Lexington area of South Carolina. Today we're going to be driving through Spring Hill Lake. I said Spring Filled Lake last time because I'm originally from Sally and, and it's it's whatever. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on as we drive through. You'll get a good glimpse of the neighborhood. See what it's about. It has beautiful large brick front homes. Um, homes in this neighborhood, they range from roughly the mid 2000 square feet to upwards of 4,500 square feet. So they are quite large homes. Um, a lot of five bedroom homes in this neighborhood, which is great. You know, if you have a larger family or multiple people living with you, the homes in this neighborhood tend to range from the mid 300s to the mid 500s. You can find some outliers a little bit cheaper than the mid 300s and the mid five or a little more expensive than the mid 500s. But overall, that generally tends to be the price range for this neighborhood. Uh, these homes are built by D.R. Horton. Um, the neighborhood has a resort-style pool, a playground, a clubhouse, as well as a catch-and-release fishing pond, which is kind of cool um, and not something we commonly see in neighborhoods. A um, few other things about this neighborhood is that it is zoned for Lexington One Schools, uh, specifically Rocky Creek Elementary, Beechwood Middle, and Lexington High. It's actually very, very close to Beechwood Middle if you, you know you have some middle schoolers. Um, it is a little further out from, you know, Lexington, the main shopping like Sunset and downtown, probably about, about 15 minutes. Uh, but you are fairly close, about eight minutes to Publix, Crafty Draft, Piggly Wiggly, CVS, Lowe's Foods. So you're not out in the middle of nowhere by any stretch of the imagination. This neighborhood does have an HOA. Um, you know, with all the amenities, that was a given. But currently, it does run about $690 a year. So something to keep in mind when looking for homes in this neighborhood. Something else I will note about this neighborhood is the nice spacing between homes. We don't see that as often in some of our neighborhoods, uh, especially centrally located in Lexington. Homes tend to be a little bit closer, but the, these have, you know, nice spaced out. They do have a, you know, a, a moderate size yard. Most of them are about a quarter of an acre, some a little more, some a little less, but generally speaking, they're about quarter acre lots. As we're driving up in a couple of minutes, you will see the pool and the clubhouse and the playground. Just to give you an idea of the neighborhood, there are, you know, different style homes here. You have some brick, you have some vinyl, you have some single story, you have two story homes. Uh, we even have some homes in this neighborhood that have three car garages, which I know a lot of people love, but they're a little harder to find. So something to keep in mind, if you are looking for a neighborhood that has a lot of amenities and you need a three car garage, this may be a neighborhood that you would like to check out. Homes in this neighborhood are typically in between the ages, um, years built, I, pres I should say, of 2015 all the way up to 2021. Again, some outliers here, but that is generally the age of the homes in this neighborhood. So they are fairly recent new builds. You'll see I'm about to turn in now to the pool and the clubhouse and the playground. I don't typically like to you know, record the pool, record playground, because I like to be respectful of people that actually live in these communities. So I try very hard not to record people. Um, there's the playground there to the left, the clubhouse directly in front of you. And as we'll drive around the circle, you'll kind of get a glimpse of the pool. I really try not to record people because, I mean, I wouldn't really want people recording me and putting me on YouTube. So I do try to do that as well kind of get you a glimpse of the pool there um which is why you will rarely see me record a pool because unless it's during the winter when there's not really anybody there you won't see me too much 
recording those because there's always people at the pool, especially here in these hot, hot South Carolina summers. Well, we are going to continue the drive through here. I'm going to just play some music in the background and I will catch you at the end. If you could please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel, you know, it helps with the algorithm. It helps boost our post. It gets us motivated to make more of these. Uh, I do receive messages from you guys that you like these videos and I am trying to be a little more consistent with them. It is a little hard with our schedules, but if you could please like, and even drop a comment below let me know a neighborhood that you are interested in we do get requests from time to time and i'm always 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 happy to accommodate those requests I am back and I just wanted to say bye. I'll see you in the next one and talk soon. Like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.